A plus five day, 25 October, 1944. The amphibious operation had been completed. Naval bombardment and air support had been effective in neutralizing enemy opposition. On Leyte, U.S. Army troops are advancing. In Surigao Strait, remnants of the defeated Japanese Southern Force retire. And at 0630, units of Task Group 77.2 head south to polish off the cripples. Some planes have already taken off on missions against the defeated enemy Southern Force. These strikes and routine air patrols have been launched from the escort carrier group 77.4 of the 7th Fleet. Rear Admiral T.L. Sprague, Commander Task Group 77.4, has ordered the three task units closer to Leyte Gulf for the day's covering operations. Task Unit 77.4.3 is about 30 miles north of 77.4.2, 60 miles northeast of Sulawan Island, and 120 miles north of Task Unit 77.4.1, which is composed of four CVEs and escorts. 77.4.2 is composed of six CVEs and escorts, and 77.4.3 also had six CVEs and escorts. It is apparent that this task unit is most exposed to enemy surface attack from the north. Task Unit 77.4.3 under the command of Rear Admiral C.A.F. Sprague, is disposed in Formation 5R, with six escort carriers on the 2,500-yard circle, screened by three destroyers, and four destroyer escorts on the 6,000-yard circle. Fleet axis, 0, 0, 0. Course, 350. Speed, 14. The unit flagship, USS Fanshawe Bay, is the guide. In combat information center, Japanese voices are intercepted on inter-fighter direction. 0640, unidentified surface contact, bearing 292, distance 18 and a half miles. Anti-aircraft gunfire to the northwest. Commander task unit orders change of course to 220. A plane on anti-submarine patrol reports being fired on by a large force of Japanese battleships, cruisers, and destroyers. This was the first indication that the enemy central force had transited San Bernardino Straits during the night. At 0650, Task Unit 77.4.3 immediately changed course to 090, increased speed to 17 knots, and at 0655, commenced launching all available planes. The DDs Johnston and Hull and the DE Roberts make smoke astern our carriers to forestall enemy gunfire. By 0715, our airstrikes are being felt by the Japanese force. Enemy now in four groups, leading ships bearing 284, distance 15 miles. Leading Jap cruisers open fire at about 29,200 yards from our carriers. The first salvos fall near our screen astern the formation.